2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7 For the mystery of iniquity doth already work only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweshai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash, Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world enemy calls God, Yahweh, meaning he exists, he is to be. Bahashem in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world everybody calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning he is salvation. He delivers, he saves. Bahashem in the name, Rakaha Kwadash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great most who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives through the four corners of the earth. To the Akwatiam, listen and listen and learn in sincerity and the truth and the silence, Shalom. Akyam, meaning brothers, Akwatiam, meaning sisters, Shalom, meaning peace be unto you. It's your brother Shema from the GMS Toronto camp here in Toronto with another lesson. All right? The wicked has been revealed. All right? And who are the wicked? Esau, Edom. All right? You ruling class elites. These banking families, right? They rule the world. Job 9 and 24 says, Earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Roughly paraphrasing. Right? The earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. The Lord put the Esau, put, put Esau, Edom, these Edomites in rulership. But they're, they're being revealed. The Lord's revealing them, right? Their wickedness is no longer hidden. What they do is no longer hidden. We're in the, we're in the information age. Everything's out there on this, on this devil, right? Look at this, uh, this whole skirmish over there between uh, uh, the land and, and, and H-A-M-A-S, uh, Documentation is out there that uh, Amalek funded, spawned H-A-M-A-S. Right, that's an example of, the, of, of them being revealed. Right, all, all wars are bankers' wars. Right, they fund both sides. 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, right? And the mystery is the Roman Empire, right? The mystery is who, who, who the Edomites are. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way, right? So the Lord is allowing them to do what it is they do, wickedness, until the Lord takes them out. The Lord's going to judge them. Verse 8, and then shall that wicked be revealed. Right? The wicked being revealed. Right? Who they are, their atrocities. Right? The mystery of iniquity, the iniquity being the Roman Empire. Are right? being revealed who they are? Right? Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. The Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. The spirit of his mouth being the prophets. Right? And what are the prophets doing? Pointing the finger, shaking the hand, exposing these devils. Devil meaning deceiver. Right? You also have Edomite truthers. 
telling on themselves. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right? That's the return of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai and the holy angels are going to return and destroy Esau's rulership, Edomite supremacy, Rome 2.0, the revised Roman Empire. Right? Second Peter 3 and 10. And it reads, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, right? The, the day of the Lord, right? the Lord is going to come as a thief. Anyone who's had, uh, anyone who's been violated with uh, theft or robbery, right? It comes unannounced. You don't go to sleep tonight and say, okay, a thief's going to break into my house tonight and take my things. You don't know. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. The heavens, the heavens being the heaven, the heavens being Esau's rulership structure. Right? Pass away with a great noise. The great noise being the missiles. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right? Scripture says, Behold, the days come that shall burn like an oven. Right? Concentrated heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up, right? All wickedness is going to be is going to be burnt up to a crisp. Right? Esau Edom, his wickedness, his rulership, his hierarchy, his structure. Right? Burnt to a crisp. Lake of fire. Two thirds of our people will die in the destruction. Heathen nations are going to die in the destruction. The only ones that are going to make it out unscathed are the elect. Right? Sirach 40. Sirach 40 and 13. And it reads, The goods of the unjust shall be dried up like a river. Right? And who are the unjust? These wicked Edomites, right? Their goods, their substance, right? Their riches, their system, right? It's gonna dry up like a river, and shall vanish with, and shall vanish with noise, like a great thunder in rain. Vanish with noise. That noise being the missiles. This whole this whole system, as we see it, this whole Babylonian system that we live in, it's gonna be done away with. The Lord's going to come and put his foot on the neck of these heathen nations, on the neck of Esau, Edom. Right? Then the world shall be, shall, shall be ruled in righteousness. Psalm 75. Right, these devils have ruled... For a little season, their time is up. Right, scriptures say, uh, let's get that first. You have the pointed bounds, they can't pass. Job 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, whose days? These Edomites, right? Your time to rule. It's, it's already been, it's already, the, the beginning and end has already been set. The Lord set it up. The number of his months are with thee, right? The Lord knows when his time is going to end. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass, right? So you can't pass just like in the Monopoly game. Do not pass, go, go straight to jail. You can't pass the bounds that the Lord set. Psalm 75. 
verse 8, and it reads, Psalm 75, verse 6, the points in 8. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. Right? Promotion. The, the Lord does the promoting. The Lord does the setting up. Right? But Yahweh is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. Right? The Lord sets up rulerships and kingdoms. Verse 8, for in the hand of the Lord Yahweh there is a cup, right? And what is this cup? Slavery. Right? And the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poureth out of the same. But the dregs thereof, right? The dregs of the cup. Look at his word, dregs. Psalm 78. Psalm 75, verse 8. Look at this word, dregs. All right, Esau's got Esau's got to drink this cup. Strong's H eighty one oh five. Shemer, Shemer. It says Lee's dregs in the Strong's. Something preserved from H8104. Something preserved, i.e. the settlings, right? The settlings of wine, dregs, leaves, right? You ever drink uh, in the world chocolate milk as a kid? And the, 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 the chocolate be at the bottom of the cup? That's the dregs. Esau got to drink it. Esau got to drink it. Right? Right, and I was reading this article. This is what inspired the lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Shai. Right, and this is a nine-year-old, ten-year-old uh, uh, article going into who funded who. Right, all wars are bankers' wars, man. Right, and this devil's being exposed. But the dregs, back in Psalm 75, verse 8, but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them, right? The wicked, beginning with Esau, Edom, they got to drink this cup, man. They're going into hardcore, hardcore bondage. Job 27, let's close. Job 27, verse 16. Job 27, verse 15. Job 27, verse 14. The points in uh, 16 and 17. And it reads, If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, right, you Edomites, and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Right? You're going into, you're going into captivity. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widow shall not weep. Right? Not even his woman's going to weep over his calamity. Though he heap up silver as the dust, right? And this is what he does. He's greedy. Heaps heaps on himself commodities and resources. He has the fatnesses of he has the fatness of the earth. And prepare raiment as the clay, right? And this is twofold, because you got these preppers out here, right? Thinking they're gonna hunker down and hide. Right? They're putting up and they're preparing. He may prepare it, but the just shall put it on. Right? The just. And who are the just? Beginning with the elect. Right? So Esau's wealth is going to be translated, transferred. But also these preppers, man. They're, 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 so, listen, all hell going to break loose out here. It's going to be a light thing for the Lord to take out a prepper. And a, an elect man of the Lord stumble on his on on his stash, like read that, like that scene in the the movie The Road, where the father and the son found that bunker, and it was inhabited because whoever inhabited it was dead. 
he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on, right? So Esau's wealth in the kingdom, the just will put it on. And who are the just? The elect. And the innocent shall divide the silver. So with that, stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. Call Allah Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash, the belongers to the apostles, and elders of great millstone who teach well and rule who taught me this truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect.